What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. If you like this content, uh, comment, all that good stuff. I will have some fishing videos coming soon, I promise. Um, but for now, it is story time. Uh, I wrote about this story, and this is absolutely 100% true. Uh, it was probably one of the most surreal kind of scariest events that happened to me while fishing. Um, I did uh, flip a canoe over in alligator, snake, and snapping turtle infested waters before, but I'll save that for another video. For now, this one is uh, when someone pulled a gun on me and I was pretty confident they were going to pull the trigger. Um, so this was years ago, and I wrote about this story in uh, my book, My Fish Stories, in great detail. So if you want to read about it, read the details, plus a bunch of other amazing, entertaining, informative um, you know, stories, check out the book. It's only a couple bucks on Amazon. So anyway, there it is. And it helps support the channel. <clears throat> so anyway, this was years ago. I'm fishing in Florida with a buddy of mine and we took this canoe to this residential pond and, uh, we didn't feel like fishing in the canoe for whatever reason. I think we saw bedding fish along the bank. So we just parked the canoe and fished. And back then, I, I did keep fish, although I was always on the fence whether or not to keep them. So I brought a little igloo cooler and I caught this nice size bedding crappie, put it in the cooler, but I, I had it filled with water because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. Uh, you know, and even back then, I didn't really like keeping fish, but my buddy may have wanted to keep it. So we put it in the water, We're like, all right, if we catch some more, maybe we'll keep them. If not, I'm going to let this one go. And so we put it in the cooler, uh, and these kids come up, about 13, 14 year old kids, and they asked if they could use the canoe since we weren't using it. And they were fishing. And one of them I recognized as being the little brother of a friend of ours from high school. So I was like, all right, yeah, we can trust those kids. Go ahead, you know, use the canoe. So they go out in the canoe and we continue to fish. <clears throat> and then we see some cops pull up across the pond. And, uh, you know, these the kids come running through the woods and they're like, you know, hey, you better get out of here. The cops are here. I'm like, well, look, we're not really doing anything. We'll go talk to them. Plus, we don't want to leave our canoe. So we kind of head the opposite direction towards the canoe where the cops were and the kids sort of went back to where we were fishing. And we go talk to the cops and we tell the cops, hey, look, you know, <clears throat> we're just fishing all this stuff. And the cops are like, yeah, you're not allowed to have a canoe in this pond. The residents don't like it. So we're like, no problem. We didn't know. We'll, we'll take it out. I think we're, we, we carried it on my buddy's car. We would like, you know, hold our hands on top of the car. And that's how we got around with the canoe on the top of his little Datsun or something. It was awesome. So, uh, all right, so the cops are like, yeah, no problem. So the cops leave. We pack up our stuff. We go. I go back to the, where we were fishing, uh, where the cooler was, and the fish was gone. Now, the cooler was still full of water and closed, but there was no fish in it. So at first, I thought, oh, the kids maybe saw that we had the fish and they dumped it out, you know, like to, for, to free the fish or something. But no, the water was still in it which means they clearly just stole our fish. And I was absolutely beside myself. Like, who steals a fish? Like, who steals another guy's fish? We let you use our canoe. You're fishing, we're fishing, and you stole my fish while we went and dealt with the cops. It was just, it, I just, I was like beside myself. I was, I just could not believe someone would do that. Especially, like I said, we knew one of the little kids, you know, his older brother. So we we're like, man, the fact that we knew him, we let him use the canoe and they still stole the fish was just, I could not believe it. So um, about a week or so goes by and uh, that little kid, his older brother ends up having a party. Um, and it was not the, the best neighborhood, but you know, he was a friend of ours. So we went to, his, we went to this party, me and a bunch of my friends um, go to this party and I see at the party, and this was just completely random, I see the kid and his buddy who stole the fish at the party. Obviously, it's the it's the it's our buddy's younger brother and his friend. And I see the kid, and I'm like, you know, I've had a few back then. Um, and uh, I'm like, hey, man, you stole our fish. Expletive, expletive. And he's like, yeah, you know, he's just kind of being quiet and kind of ignoring us and all this stuff. Obviously, we're like older kids and, you know, it was borderline bullying, but I, I would say he deserved it. And so every, 
you know, we're, we're just partying, hanging out and stuff, and the, the younger kids kind of kept to themselves, but <clears throat> every once in a while I'd see him and be like, hey, that's the kid who stole our fish, and my buddy who I was fishing with was also with us, so I'd be like, that's the kid that stole our fish, man, I can't believe you stole our fish, so I just kept making a big deal about it in front of everybody, and just kind of laughing and having a good time, and uh, you know, and he just kind of kept quiet, and then finally, um, I think I was, we were leaving, and I see him sit, standing on the porch, and I'm like, hey, man, you know, uh, I can't believe you stole my fish, that's so messed up, you know, still kind of, like, teasing him, and he's like, yeah, I ate it, man, so what are you gonna do about it, and I was like, oh, so the, finally the kid speaks up, you know, he probably had enough of my jawing, and I, you know, like I said, I was a few, a few in, and I was like, I was like, I should, I should come over there, reach down your, your throat and pull it out. You know, of course I was, you know, I was young and, and again, beside myself that he actually stole it, but also just kind of being a, a jerk, you know, and like I said, the kid, it, in my opinion, he, he warranted it, you know, like you don't do something like that. And I was being very, you know, playful and, and, and you know, whatever. And he's like, yeah, why don't you come try it? And I'm just like, ha, ah, just dismiss it. So we're leaving, my buddies jump in the car and they're all like, you know, piled into the car and we're about to leave this party. And I'm like, hang on, I need to go to the bathroom. So I run around the side of the house to take a leak real quick. And while I'm doing that, I hear click, click. And I turn around and the kid that I was yelling at, not my friend's little brother, but his buddy is standing there with a, a rifle. I think it was like a 22 rifle or something. And he's like holding it to my back and he had just cocked it or, or whatever you do with those. And I was like, I was like, whoops. I was like, what's up, man? And his buddy was standing there too, or some other kid was standing with him. And he was like, he's like, uh, you know, basically saying, yeah, talk, talk smack now, man. Talk now. You know, I don't hear you saying anything now. I'm like, well, yeah, you got a gun pointed at me. And he's like, yeah, I don't hear you talking smack now. And I'm like, dude, you stole my fish. And I'm just messing with you, you know, I'm messing with you because it's, it was a, it was a horrible thing what you did. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, mess with you back. And he took it very, very seriously, apparently. And I was like, look, man, it, this is not worth it. You know, you, you've got a gun pulled on me uh, over a fish, you know, I'm like, he's like, yeah, I don't hear you talking smack. Now I'm like, look, you know, I'm messing with you because you, you took my fish. So what, what do you, do you expect? You know, and like I said, I was pretty, pretty numb. So I was just like, yeah, whatever. And then, uh, he, he eventually like put the gun away and, and I just kind of, you know, walked back to my, uh, my buddy's car, um, and, you know, got in and drove away. And I was just kind of like, it, almost in shock, you know, that like this kid would pull a gun on me. And I was like, that's so messed up. So back at, go back to school and I'm talking to my friend whose party was and I'm like man do you know that kid who, who who showed up there I mean he pulled a gun on me while I was like you know outside taking a leak and he was like yeah the kids you know he's in a bad way he's got some he's got some troubles his you know his parents like were locked up um and he was just kind of living with them you know his friend because he's he's you know in a bad way and he's got a hard life and all this stuff and and I kind of felt bad and I was like man that's just you know, you never know what, what someone's going through and what's going on. And hey, maybe that kid needed that fish to, to eat. Um, I mean, it was a messed up thing to do. Obviously, he, he probably should have asked us. But at the same time, like, you know, when people are in a bad situation like that, and like I said, he was a young kid, he was maybe 14 years old, and both of his parents were locked up. And he's just like living with a friend in this little, you know, in squalor, basically, in this tiny little house with other people. And it was a messed up situation. And so I kind of immediately it was I just felt bad that I was you know razzing him and giving him you know and talking trash and all this stuff but at the same time I felt bad just in general because I was like oh yeah here I am like you know 17 you know 18 years old and you know I'm like threatening this 14 year old like I'm gonna like I'm gonna fight this kid or something so uh yeah that was pretty crazy uh you know having a gun pulled on me over a fish was was insane um but uh, yeah, that is it. That's the story. I uh, hope you like it. Like I said, buy uh, my fish stories. There's there's detailed stories like that uh, and other ones in the book. And they're just a lot of amusing things that uh, have happened to me while fishing over the years. I'm sure you guys have great stories. So if you got any cool stories like that, something crazy, you know, life threatening or whatever, put it in the comments, man. I want to hear about it. So that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow.